Hey, thanks for joining me on your Tuesday afternoon. I'm meteorologist Mike Grogan. Nice mild weather prevails. High temperatures near 70 degrees today, but with that south wind, it is enhancing fire danger. So we are watching closely to see if any fires do spread out of control. They could do so up to 200 feet per minute. So please avoid burning outdoors today. Tonight, an increase in clouds and switching to rain chances. After about 10 o'clock this evening, that will start to move into the area. This afternoon, highs near 70. The shower still to our northwest during the day, so it should be a dry afternoon for all portions of green country and quite mild and breezy. Gusts up to 25 and 30 miles per hour. Tonight, still remaining breezy and mild, but in come the showers, mainly starting in southeast Kansas into far northern sections of our viewing area. This will slide southeastward with mostly light amounts of rainfall. By morning, the rain is still across the area. It could be still impacting the Tulsa area to start off our morning, so that means a wet drive for some some of us temperatures also in the 40s, so a chilly start to your day. Now moving throughout the morning, we'll see the showers sliding southeastward. So by mid morning, it's out of Tulsa and it's into southeastern Oklahoma, where the rainfall will quickly taper off by midday, clearing skies into the afternoon, allowing a warm up into the upper 50s to near 60 degrees, shaping up to be a fairly nice day, but about 10 degrees colder than your Tuesday. So rain chances are going to be high, but the rain totals are likely to be fairly low. We're talking maybe in a tenth to maybe be quarter inch in a few locations If the rainfall. There could be a clap or two of thunder, but not expecting much to come of it. A nuisance. If anything, here's the timeline for the rainfall. As we go through our afternoon, it's still holding off to the north. After dark, the chance will start to arise in the metro area. So by 10 o'clock, we have a 20% chance of the showers there. But unless you're out super late tonight, you're not likely to encounter the rain. But tomorrow morning, the showers are likely at least through about 6 or 7 o'clock. Then that will start to taper off to the south and east. And you'll notice that the chances of rain, therefore, dropping off to pretty much nothing by midday. Overall pattern is going to show that system sweeping out of here. And then another set of mild days arrive. There is another storm system digging deep into the southwest that will provide some great snow for the rock. Rockies for some of the skiers out there for spring break, but by the weekend it's drawing in Gulf moisture to Oklahoma and that will set the stage for scattered showers, perhaps an isolated thunderstorm. That system will linger, perhaps coming through in several waves. So by Sunday, another round of heavier rain and thunderstorms becomes likely as this is a fairly dynamic system. So a strong or severe storm could not be ruled out. And in fact, that will provide us with some higher rain chances than we have even tonight. So today, though, mostly sunny and mild 70 degrees fire danger, a certain concern into the evening down to 62 at 9 o'clock showers are northwest of us at that point, but around Tulsa by morning it turns wet. Some scattered showers are likely with that low of 44. It is a cooler day Wednesday, but at least we'll end up with some afternoon sunshine. That's the kickoff to the spring season. It's the equinox for the day ahead. Now Thursday and Friday, sunshine galore. Highs back in the 60s, though overnight temperatures back down into the 30s. We do start to see a mild trend taking hold into the weekend as well, but it will be combined with rain showers and even thunderstorm chances likely, especially late in the day Sunday, tapering off by Monday morning.